welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper. I hope you're having a very, very blessed day. So we're doing this week's blessings box. I want to thank Michelle P once again. Um, she has been so, so generous. You guys, if you watched last week's blessings box, this one is even more giving. I, I don't, I could cry. I just, I don't know how to say thank you enough. Your blessing, and I, I hope that she watches this, your blessing um, is blessing so many people and getting so many people excited. Now she is, I don't think she's a member of our Facebook group. I think she contacted me through email. Wow. Just wow, you guys are so giving and by that we can all share and we can spread joy and I have I have stuff for giveaways for a long time to come and I am looking forward to all of them. So again, thank you to everyone who makes these giveaways possible. I mean, it's to the point that I just provide the postage. That's all I do. So with that, let's just have some fun. At the end, we will draw last week's winner and we will go after, we will go over what you have to comment in order to be entered to win this week's. So let's just get started. Yeah. All right. First, we have some loose paper. She sent me another big flat rate USPS priority box full of goodies. Again, wait till you guys see. I, I got it ready this time because there is so much in here and the crinkling. I don't know. Some people really like the kink crinkling. I don't. So I try to minimize it. So we're gonna look at some beautiful paper she sent. Oh, you guys, you know, this is my favorite red, this deep, rich, burgundy red. It's my favorite. I love red in general. Isn't that so pretty? So pretty. Um, some beautiful black papers. We have a couple here. Let me, we'll have to turn them. Let's see here. We have one, two, and three, four. I recently, um, actually tomorrow, make sure you're watching the Facebook group because I'm going to give away a collection um, for tomorrow. We're gonna announce something fun. And then we have this beautiful paper here. Okay. Gorgeous wood grain. Oh, it's red wood grain. How can you not like this? Oh, these are the papers I believe did she, is she the wonderful person who set some, told me that she set some aside for just me? Either way, I'm keeping these. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You guys know it is very rare that I keep papers on my own, but is this not beautiful? Oh, this is just, oh, it's just divine. Divine. I don't even know how else to say it. Um, It's just beautiful. Then look. Feathers. I actually have this line. I love this paper. I ordered extras of it and I will probably keep that one. I'm, again, I'm not going to lie to you. All right. So this will go in the blessings box. You guys will hear me. I kind of think out loud. You got to be used to it by now. <laughs> so I'll be like, this is for travel. I'm making, cause I make different kits, right? That's what I take with the blessings box. Most of them are not like the um, ones that Michelle has been sending and full of whole collections already divided up for me. Most of them are papers that myself included have purged. And then I, I have gotten so many boxes that I can divide them up and make beautiful page kits. And that's what you will see me give away. So this one travel all day long, right? So we will definitely put these. I could probably make a couple of travel kits and then here's some more. Here's another Vicky Booten, right? Um, some more beautiful, this could go in like uh, the mermaid kit that we're going because it's got, you know, those elements. Could totally do that. A beautiful blue wood grain. There's a couple of those, one-sided, a green one. A couple of those. I actually bought this entire, I had a whole pack of this paper. This is beautiful. Um, wood grains, wood grains. Okay, that looks like a Vicky Booten. I bet that's out of the paper pad. All right, so then, we have this paper here, this paper here. Again, I'm pretty sure those are out of the Vicky Boot paper pad. If they go with the paper pad that was last week's, I will toss those in, toss these in there for whoever wins. Okay. Um, and here's another one of those papers. Let me let me put that with the other ones that are like it, so I can keep them together because I do sort the papers um, by color to make page kits, like I said. All right, then here is an entire pad, you guys, an entire pad. 
had, right? Oh, look, and I already know where I'm gonna put this. Gorgeous. Let's start a uh, Vicky Booten. Now, Vicky Booten is not my style. Don't come at me. <laughs> but there are a lot of people that love her papers. Oh, look at that. It's almost like a ledger. And love her designs and as they should. As they should. They just don't speak to me. However, I have a lemon kit that I am working on. And this has some lemon elements. So I think that's where this is going to go is in the lemon kit. We'll just beef it up. So you might be seeing that soon because with this pad, that's like a ginormous kit. So um, that's where I'm going to put that one, okay? And then now this is the only one I haven't taken out of a bag because it had a lot of loose parts. Again, Michelle sent like whole collections. I happen to have parts of this collection. So I think, um, oh, there's a piece of ephemera. Look, one of the little boxes. You guys watched my Timu haul, you know I'm obsessed with those cheaper boxes. Now they're not as big as that one. That's actually a photo box, but, okay, so don't mind me, sorry. I love that she sent the scraps as well because I think what I am going to do with this collection down the road, it's not gonna happen right now, right in the middle of 30 days of sketches, but down the road, um, I can make some base pages with these, okay? So we've got lots of little scraps that go along with this collection. The collection is photo play, quarantine. We've all been there, we all bought it, but this can be used for like doctor visits, um, someone who is not feeling well. It doesn't have to just be for quarantine. Don't forget to think outside of the box, right? Okay, amen, COVID seriously did suck still does. I mean, we're still in that. I don't think we're ever going to be out of it. But so here is a bunch of scraps. And like I said, I think down the road, I will take this kit and we'll just do a video and we'll make some base pages together. So then here is a bunch of ephemera that she has included in this box, including like here's a little sticker, um, some border stickers. I love that she saves everything. That just makes my heart happy. You guys know me and scraps. So we will add all of these to this box. Okay, we'll put that scrap in there too. Won't hurt nothing. And just like so. I'm kind of sorting while I'm talking here. Sorry about that. Put these with scraps. That will fit in there. So will these. Oh, that one's a little long. That's okay. There we go, some journaling. These look like all the cut aparts. We all use them. I love that she has saved them all. That's awesome, okay? Just like so. There we go. Does anybody else love doing this? I love this part, <laughs> like I really do. Oh, that one's a little bit too big. Okay, we'll put those with the scraps. We'll put this back in there and we're gonna make some great base pages down the road. All right, we will look through these papers. Okay. So here we go. Laugh, cry, quarantine attacks by Becky Moore. So obviously she did use some of this, but that's okay. We're grateful that you gifted it to us at all. Thank you so much. Some more papers. The toilet paper fiasco. Anybody else still think that's crazy? I really do think that's crazy. <laughs> but we can definitely, oh, let's see here. Quarantine, so it's different lines. This is also some simple stories. Some sticker sheets, some more. That's awesome. We will definitely be taking these. I will make a fun little set of base pages and include all the ephemera and it'll be a little kit. So we will do that down the road. Okay, so there's that. Thank you so much, Michelle. I, I just, I can't say that enough. Now, are you guys ready for this? I don't know if you're prepared. <laughs> Cause I will tell you that I am not. My hands are cold so my jewelry keeps moving around. Um, We're talking whole kits, okay? Simple put. This is Spring, Hello Spring by Echo Park. We have the sticker sheet. We have, now my guess is she probably has ordered extra papers. That's why there's more of some. Or this may have been, oh, it, we don't, do we have the top to it? No. Oh, we do. So, um, 12, 
yeah, so she must have ordered some extra papers, which I do all the time. I've shown you guys that. So we're just, I'm just gonna show you the papers, okay? A and B side. Oh, I love this B side. <gasps> That's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Okay, and we've got some cut aparts and some butterflies and some yellow gingham and some more cut aparts and just like that. Gorgeous, okay? And then that's the front. Boy, this is when they still used it and didn't have the glossy. So you could do punches of this. I miss that. Does anybody else miss that? Okay, so there is that kit there. So generous. I just can't even say that enough. Okay, here we go. Then we have a kit by Echo Park again, and it's called Welcome Home. These are my colors. These are my jams. I like these deep, deep rich colors. So look at that. This is when they still printed it on the back. I miss that so much. I know I just said that, sorry. Squirrel. <laughs> so then we have a B side. That's beautiful. And we have two cut aparts with green. Pretty floral, gorgeous red. Of course I am partial. Look at these two together. Oh. Just gorgeous. Some more cut aparts with a shiplap, aka wood grain. I'm obsessed with this, not gonna lie. Okay, there's another one of those, and we have that there. Looky there. And then the sticker sheet. Whole, not even broken into. Thank you so much, Michelle, with your generosity. So there's that kit. I mean, I don't even have to do anything. This one here is um a Ahoy by Cartabella. I have personally used this a few times. Okay, I think I just missed it. Okay, so there is some stars. I'm just gonna go through the papers. There's so many here. I don't want the video to be so long that everyone gets bored. Although, we're looking at paper. <laughs> Are we gonna get bored? No. Ahoy there. There is, there it is, the red stripe. And we have this one here, that's the B side. So basically two of each, okay? Um, that is the cover page. That is the cut aparts. And then we have one of the, oh, same. Just one of those though. Okay, so there is that collection. Just, oh, so generous. You guys are amazing. Like I can't, you know, there's so much yucky in the world. Through the blessing box, doesn't it just make you feel the good? There's still so much good. So much good. Yeah, I know. I'm a sap. Okay, let's just go on to Echo Park because I'll start crying. Botanical Gardens. I was obsessed with this. I used, I had three of these collections and I used every piece of paper. Whoever gets this, in fact, yeah. Okay, this is going to be this week's prize. We'll go over it more later, but this is going to be this week's prize. So, Botanical Gardens cut apart. Again, you're going to get two of each. That is the B side. I fussy cut these. Oh, beautiful layers. Some cut apart and some pretty paper. There we go. That's the B side. A. We're just calling them A and B. I'm not really sure which one's A and which one's B, but you know, I'm assume this is B and this is A, but don't listen to me. I don't know. Aren't these just gorgeous? Just beautiful. Beautiful. Love this paper. Not so much for this side, but these two together. I did this combo in different um, layouts so many times. It was just so pretty. I loved it. Same here. This together, isn't that gorgeous? I think it's gorgeous. Just saying, those were my two favorites. Can you tell? <laughs> and then we just got, looks like a pack of solids. She was so generous to give that go right along with it. Botanical Garden, Echo Park. The red, the cream, and then we've got the sticker sheets, not one. One is, oh, they're punch outs, my bad. Punch outs and the sticker sheet. Oh, that's gonna be this week's, okay? I'm gonna even set that over to this side and we will talk about what to comment and all of that later, all right? Thank you so much, Michelle. Just so sweet of you. This was back when, you know, Tuesday morning actually had amazing deals, yeah. She must have really hit the jackpot. I would have bought them all too. Wouldn't have been able to help myself. Okay, this one, um, some more lemon, right? 
I don't know, we might end up with two lemons. I'm gonna flip through it, okay? We've got cut aparts, we've got a design. This is a paper pad by Recollections. Some of these papers I know a lot of people find hard to use, they do. So, I do not think I am going to leave this in the paper pad form. I think that I will make individual kits and you have to have a break in eye when you have prints like this. Now, I'm not saying that this isn't beautiful paper, but what I am saying is sometimes like this together, it's too much for a lot of us. Not all of us, but a lot of us, okay? So I will be breaking this up and making some page kits with it. But isn't that, oh, here's another one. Oh, tried to sneak out of there. Some more lemons. So we're gonna be seeing some lemon kits for sure. We need to have a brainstorm and just comment different titles for lemon papers, right? So we can get some ideas. Okay, then we have this collection also by Echo Park and it is called Let's Party. All right, let's just, we'll flip through this one. We have some cut aparts here. I love these, some cut aparts. Birthday, birthday. And I do have a birthday kit that I've been working on, but I'm gonna leave this just as it is. I just am. These are the solids, okay? A couple of each of those. Ooh, that's a pretty color. And we've got the printed polka dots, some cupcakes. Oh, don't you see a happy horizontal there? Thanks to Miss Janet Madison. I see them everywhere. Pink polka dots, some pretty paper, some stripe, some balloons. It says party. Really fun birthday girl kit for sure. I love that one. I think that's my favorite so far. Okay, some party hats, some presents, some more cupcakes. And we've got cut aparts, one, two, and a sticker sheet, brand new, brand new, you guys. How generous was Michelle? I mean, that's just, that's very generous. We will be seeing that. I will leave it just like that and it will be a nice big prize. Okay, then I have, what do I have next here? I have one more. Oh, and here is some ephemera, that birthday ephemera that goes with that. One more, and I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I am going to gift this to Captain Lori. I know for a fact that I'm just going to send it to her. She's, if she watches the video, she's going to know. Um, because... I know she does a lot of soccer. And so I am going to gift this to her and she can um, continue to scrap her grandbabies. She does so much in being a captain, 100% deserves to have it. And so that's what I, I'm going to just gift it to her. I hope, I hope nobody is upset about that because those captains donate a lot of their time. They don't get paid so that we can all have fun and scrap. So. I hope um, everyone understands. It's the authentic, authentic soccer line. Okay, some full papers. Several of the soccer ones. There's some green grass and some more. Okay, looks like many, but you know, you're, I can only imagine you need these, right? Um, here's a, I don't think that's an authentic one. Oh, look at that. That's cool. I'm so excited for her to get it. Here's obviously the plane filled. We have two of those and on the back is that. So I am going to just gift this to Miss Lori. She will be getting it in the mail. And um, thank you so much, Michelle, for um, sending this and allowing me to do that for her. Um, and actually you're doing it for her, hon. I'm, I'm not doing anything. So I'm going to send that to someone that I know would really love that. She already donates so much time. Um, you probably haven't seen her quite as much. She has a lot going on right now, but she has been a captain with me since the Love RTS days, like for the very beginning. So she deserves that hands down. Now, one little, one little, not little. It's not little, it's a lot still. So there is um, the I Am goodies. She sent some bits journal bits. She sent some decorative brads. She sent some chipboard that some of it's fallen out. You know how that goes. All from Simple Stories. Um, this whole thing is here, right here. Okay. Um, and here are the papers. 
So this will be a beautiful kit that we will give away. Oh, this is pretty, pretty, pretty. I've used this whole line. I have this whole line. Love it. It is very pretty papers, rich colors. Oh, look at that together. And I don't even like mustard gel. Okay. Oh, some pretty swans. Swans always remind me of baby layouts. I know a lot of people struggle with them, but I like them for baby layouts. That's pretty. Oh, love this paper. I bought extras of this paper. I love this paper. Okay. And there we go. So that is that whole collection, the Simple Stories. Um, what is the name of this? I Am. Yeah, it's I Am. Duh. <laughs> Okay, but on this one, you got extras, right? We've got chipboard, we've got brads, we've got ephemera. All right, so let's take a little break. Let's see who won last week's, and then we are gonna talk about what you need to comment to be entered to win this week. And don't forget, if you join the Facebook group, answer those little questions, you get a second chance to win. So hang All in right, there. Let's draw the winner for last week's Blessings Box giveaway. I wanna thank Michelle again for such generous boxes. I mean, this is number two of three. You guys, she has sent whole collections. So the winner is Teresa Varney. Varney, I hope I'm saying your name correct. Varney, I apologize if I'm not. Contact me um, and we will get this mailed off to you either Friday or Monday, depending on when I get your information. Um, I have the email in the description and or you're welcome to message me through Ginger's Corner on a private message. So let's get that out to you. Congratulations. And let's see what we're going to do this week. Okay. So congratulations to the winner. Again, my information is in the description of this video. Um, so hit see more. You'll see how to contact me or contact me via Facebook. Um, on Ginger's Corner, the Facebook group, you can find me and message me privately. We'll get that mailed to you. Exciting, exciting. So this week, I'm going to give away the Botanical Garden. I think it is beautiful. It's that time of year. And it is sponsored by Miss Michelle. Thank you again, Michelle, for your generosity. Like, seriously, thank you for your generosity. And you guys all know, we're going on, I believe it's week 14. I lose track because numbers and names and you guys know me, but 14 weeks, 14 <laughs> blessing boxes. And I still have one more from Michelle and I just got two more from another um, generous donor. You guys, I, I, I can't say thank you enough for allowing me to spread your joy, right? Because you're sending me and it's creating joy for others and it's just, it, it steamrolls, right? So, I would like you to comment below. Let's, what should we do? We haven't done just something silly in a while. So, um, you know what? Let's just use the word silly. Why not? So, use the word silly in a sentence, or you can just type silly. You can have a chance to win in this video. It is open to everyone. We, I love my international um, subscribers just as much, um, as well as it is um, possible for you to go over to Ginger's Facebook group, find the post where I post the video, and you can comment there, and that will give you a second chance to win. You guys, I hope you're having a fun beginning to your summer. I hope you're enjoying the sun, and you are getting outside and hanging out with your family. I hope that you're also inspired by the videos that I post. I am just so honored that you are here hanging out with me, as well as everyone posting on the Facebook group. Wow, you guys are inspiring me. I love seeing what you do. So do, do, do continue to do that. I can't encourage you to do that enough. With that, I hope you have a blessed day. I hope I... Um, well, it gave you something fun to do for a few hours. I, I lost my train of thought there. With that, I'll see you next week.